First Lady Jill Biden kicked off Milwaukee's Festa Italiana tonight, taking place at the Summerfest grounds all weekend long. And that's where our political reporter Jason Calvi joins us live. Jason, wasn't all welcome arms out there. She faced some hecklers today. Yeah, that's right. Some people that were talking about Palestine at Palestinian flags did interrupt the First Lady several times today. Her speech here at Festa Italiana comes just one day after the former president's conviction. Now, that's a topic she didn't talk about at all today. No matter what your politics are, though, everyone can agree today's visit is a first. First Lady Jill Biden already made history. It is the absolute honor to serve as the first Italian-American First Lady. And now she becomes the first first lady to visit Milwaukee's Festa Italiana. And what's the Festa without Italian food? Here's the photo. The first lady bought a dozen chocolate cannolis and a dozen regular from these two teens. We were just standing here, I guess, and then she came over and then uh, she shook our she hands. She just shook our hands. Likely a lifetime memory. I think it's pretty cool. I, I mean, it's shocking. I was not expecting that whatsoever. I'm like still a little dumbfounded. <laughs> but it wasn't all warm welcomes. My husband, President Biden, is working to build on what this community has accomplished. Protesters interrupted her. Don't touch it. Stopping her speech <laughs> several times. <laughs> Critical of President Biden's support for Israel amid the Gaza war. We can talk. You don't have to shout at me. We only get things accomplished when we talk. It's not the first time the Festa has hosted political leaders. We had George Bush here one year, you know, Scott Walker when he was governor of Variety. Um, it's, it's huge. She's, she's a Sicilian roots. Her grandfather was born in Sicily. In this crucial battleground state that will help decide if Jill Biden's the country's first lady another four years. And some Italian Americans said they were disappointed in having the first lady speak here. Now, this comes just months before the crucial election that will take place in Wisconsin. Now, during her speech here at Festa Italiana, she spoke mostly about her own Italian heritage and Italian values, but she did speak a little bit about her husband, the president. The Festa runs here through Sunday. Reporting live here, Jason Calvi, Fox 60. And just a quick visit for her tonight. All right, Jason, thank you.